In seven days, God created the world. And in seven seconds, I shattered mine. Why me? It is within my power to drastically change his circumstances. What are you planning to do? So tell us how this came to be. You found this script, didn't you? I uh, no, actually, I was sub the script was submitted to me from the from, from the producers, who by chance were the same producers of Pursuit of Happiness. Uh, I ended up uh, r reading it, and I found myself crying, and I thought that this movie, the script, was extremely unique, but extremely powerful, and also extremely. Um, Difficult. I think was would have been uh, if I if I would have said yes uh, uh, to the producers it would have been the most challenging and the most uh, risky project I ever I, I would have ever done. And then the the next step w was when Will said he was in, w he was very interested to make this movie yet very scared, but he wanted to know what I want what I was thinking. So mainly the, the answer and the commitment came out of, of a meeting I had with Will. We rehearsed for five weeks, me, Will, and Rosario, and for those weeks I kept saying, guys, either we sing together or we, we can sail and go somewhere with this movie. This is not easy. Let's do the best to make it work. With the pressure of having such a little bit of time for rehearsal, and making sure up until I think the last day we weren't 100% secure that we were going to have enough time to really prepare to do it all. We, had to, we wanted to work through the entire script. We reworked through everything and did it over and over and over again. And it, was, it was rigorous. And there was that fear. We talked about it all the time. Do we have the time? Is this going to work? Like, is this working? Come on, get, like, get right, with right, it. Right, like, right. There was, it was boot camp. It was this weird panic of once we start and we get in there, we're not going to have the time to play with this. We're going to have the entire set and the location and all of these things happening. So we need to have it centered with, with the three of us here and not mess around. So it felt really amazing to get to that point together. We really, I think, massaged these moments out of the script mm. together. I think but very work. pessimistically sometimes, you know, like going, this isn't working, ah, you know, like there was a lot well, of that the as well. the temptation in a movie like this that's so romantic is to go big with emotions, and what I think makes it work so much is the understatement you all bring to it. W w was that deliberate? Was it hard to hit as a balance? Well, it, a lot of that also came from, you know, him calling us on our bullshit a lot of times. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, just being like, what is that, you know, you furring your brow, is that supposed to mean you're intense? Is that supposed to mean you're, you're in trouble, you're upset? Like, what is that? Don't do that. Keep your hands at your sides. Like, really, it was, it was amazing of just not, not going into any bag of tricks. It was very much about being really real and talking. You know, these are situations that I'm asking you, you know, what do you, do you think about dying? And really meaning that. These were, it's amazing when you have characters who are speaking through chat tragedy or loss or upset or fear where they're being completely honest with each other. So there's, when you take the BS out of it, then all of that has to be gone. And you can't have a, an inch of it in your body when you're performing it. It has to be completely truthful. Well, may this movie win seven Oscars. Thank you very much for all of them. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Thank you very much. Thank you.